Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building one of the Lego Disney princess sets today. This one is Ariel's Royal Celebration Boat, which is a bit of a misnomer because it's not actually Ariel's boat, it's Eric's boat. But because they're getting married, I suppose what's his is hers. So it, it all right, it is. It's Ariel's Royal Celebration Boat originally belonging to Eric. <laughs> it's got four bags and teeny tiny sheet of very reflective stickers and of course we've got an instruction book and we've got a new incarnation here of Prince Eric and he's got the best shirt, the best princess uniform there on the top. Princess? <laughs> he's a prince. The best prince uniform on the top. He looks very, very smart, ready for his wedding. He has got a telescope with a very... Uh, Jemmy faceted end because he's a prince, darn it, and he should have the best telescope that you can possibly buy. And what does he spy through that telescope which he can't actually hold in his hand? He can see Max, his big fluffy dopey sheepdog. And Max is really cute, looks kind of like Max has got fangs. That looks kind of weird because he's the biggest, happiest dog ever. But he also gets a bow. Why? because he can and it might hold some of that hair out of his eyes what else can you see through that telescope prince eric oh you can see ariel coming and she's not actually wearing the wedding dress that she is in the movie she's wearing kind of a mix between her formal pink dress and a ball gown and she gets a fancy cape which is supposed to be her wedding cape do we all have wedding capes? It's got cute little hearts down the bottom of it. This is all terribly fairy tale and fantasy, but look at her face. She just looks so excited by everything. Oh my gosh, what's that there? Oh, look over there. That's really cool. Oh, wow, I'm not a mermaid anymore. I'm getting married. She looks really excited. She also looks like she's getting an ice cream. No, no, that's not an ice cream. This is her wedding, her wedding bouquet. That's lovely, which could also double as an ice cream if you change the topping on it. <laughs> so we've got Prince Eric and we've got Ariel, soon to be Princess Ariel. And we've got Max and they're very cute and they all get a boat to hang out on. In fact, it's a very fancy boat. But before we do the boat, we've got some accessory things here. So we've got a flower which we could add to her hair, but it's actually going in this little side box here. She's got a brush. She doesn't have to use a dingle hopper anymore. Oh, it's a bit sad actually. And here we've got the crown for when she becomes crowned. So that's her little dressing area. We're gonna be able to put that on the boat soon. There's also this round under the sea bit, specifically designed for Sebastian. It's really, really cute. <laughs> well, it will be once we've built it. But in the meantime, look, they could hang out on there, but it's not supposed to be for them because it's under the sea, under the sea, where the little starfish spin around. They're gonna groove along to Sebastian's groovy music. He has got a music stand here with music on it, because it's a music stand. Ta -da! And Sebastian gets a conductor so that he can either conduct the little starfish and make sure they play in time, or they could be like his little groovy tunes, or they could be singing along. It's all up to you. That's such a cute little add-on. Okay, next part, we have got one of the removable parts for this big boat. Now, if you remember from any of the other Disney princess sets that have come out in 2018, they have got interchangeable parts. So kind of little scenes or little rooms that you can pick up and you can put on well, another one. So we could take this and we could go and put this in Cinderella's castle if we want to. We will actually do that in another video. We'll do a lots of mix and matching. But this one has got their dancing area and we'll just finish up the top and then we'll go back down and we'll play with a little, little roundy dancey bit. I do love the fact that the top here is getting beautifully smoothed over. In fact, it looks very ergonomic there. Lovely and smooth. And right up on the top, there are a couple of little jumper studs there. So I wonder what we're going to have up there that can be removed. Looks like it might be this. Some lovely, oh, this is going to be the bower. So the wedding bower for them to get married under. And it is very pretty. It's super duper pretty. The color scheme's really nice. The gold and the pink. And look, there's a big E with a crown on it. So I told you, I told you this boat belongs to Eric. I don't see an A anywhere for Ariel. Hmm but they can have their wedding dance here. Look, oh, so romantic. Round and round and round they go. And if we don't stop them soon, they might vomit everywhere. We're up to bag number two. And now, 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 
<laughs> is that enough mouse? Now we get started on the boat itself. So we've got to get some structure into place before we actually see this looking boat shaped because currently it doesn't look boat shaped. But it won't take long. It doesn't take very long at all. In fact, here we have got the front part of the ship, the bow, the bow. How do you pronounce that? But it's the front of the ship, B-O-W, the bow, the bow of the ship. I have no idea. And here this part is the back, which looks like a whole heap of tree branches sticking out the back, but it's not. It's gonna be the stern of the, <laughs> I'm just assuming I know these names. It's gonna be the, it's the stern of the ship, the back. <laughs> the stern it's very stern and serious oh my goodness you can tell I don't spend very much time on the ocean or know really almost anything about boats <laughs> uh, but I do like the color scheme so I'm gonna go with that and uh, I love the pop of the translucent pink bricks there at the back and the white obviously to look very very clean and now we've got some lovely white on the bow mm, the bow of the ship and we're putting some more smooth pink pieces on and it's all looking very pretty. <laughs> oh, fit for a princess, a princess to be. And I've just fixed up that mistake that I made there in the corner. Let's put some more of those really pretty translucent pink pieces in. They're gonna add light into those under the deck areas. Oh, look, we've got some steps now heading down down into the depths of the ship we're up to bag number three and we've still got a good amount of the boat left to go so we're doing well nice more smoothing over which just looks really really just it just it it, it makes it clean and it makes it look finished and it just it makes the whole thing it's going to turn the whole thing into a really attractive display piece as well. Up here it looks like it might be a place to stand, so Max and Eric can try that out. Uh, hold on, that's no. There we go, that goes there. Hmm. So where was this? This is the stern of the ship, and it looks like it might turn into a little room because there are windows. Love the gold scroll pieces. I love those little windows and the arches. They all look fantastic. Now we've got a nice big back wall to build to go on the stern of the ship. I just keep saying stern because I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Unlike the bow, the bow of the ship. <laughs> I hope you can tell me in the comments how to pronounce it. Does it rhyme with bat? Like how? Is it bow and how? Or is it bow like the bow in your hair? I just don't know whether it's bow or bow. Okay. Enough, enough silliness. I've got some really nice gold pieces on there now. It's, it is, it's all just looking very regal, but it also looks with lots and lots of pink in it too. So very, very feminine and princessy as well. <laughs> it's very pretty, very, very Disney princess. makes a lovely embellishment for the top there so definitely a, it's just a teeny tiny room and here can you believe this is the very first of the stickers this is a mirror for Ariel's dressing area at the back there's a mirror and there's a necklace and looks like what might be a, a goblet with a candle in it and there's her dressing up stuff her dressing table and you can pop them on and off because they're on little jumpers on the back we've got another big E proclaiming this ship belongs to Eric maybe we're gonna have to change one of those to A once they get married but it looks fantastic with those those lovely scroll embellishments on there love that and some shooters why are we putting shooters on the ship I suppose they might have to defend themselves from pirates when they're out in the deep sea I don't know. We're up to bag number four though. I'm sure there will be a function for those that we'll find out in a moment. All right, we now have got some gold steps now. So they look nice and finished. Heading down and the next lot of our stickers, there are three of these and that's it for our stickers. All of the patterning from this actual set is coming from the boat design itself, which is amazing. It's fantastic. Okay, uh, now we need to work on the front of the ship. I've given up saying what it's called because you're going to tell me and then I'm going to learn because I like to learn new things. <laughs> and then I will know it forever more and I won't get it wrong ever again. <laughs> Maybe. There are some more jumpers here. We're 
well, where the happy couple could maybe stand on either side of the boat, but I don't actually think that's their function. Right at the front now, we've got some flowers, which you could also pop off if you want to and make that another standing area. I like all these things on the little single stud jumpers. Oh, look at that right up in the front of the ship. They could like do a Titanic scene where they could stand up there and go, I'm on top of the world. Oh no, hold on, I'm the king of the world. That should be, I'm the queen of the world. Uh, but we're not gonna be able to do that because this is gonna get in the way. Oh, and we put another crown embellishment at the front and some, oh, some hearts, some crystal hearts. Max is up there busy sniffing them. And we need the wheel so that they actually go in the right direction. And some more of these beautiful gold embellishments to actually make the rounded shape of the ship and to, well, pretty it up some more. It looks fabulous. Now I think, I think this is all we have left is to put these smooth pieces on the bottom this, and put them on in the right place would be nice. There we go. And now that'll stop it from scratching along <laughs> the bottom of the ocean floor when you slide it along. Oh no, hold on. So we've got a table here with a couple of goblets and another table here that we can just, we can pop on and off. And this one has got, I think this is a cake with Jerry's on the top. It's not the fanciest cake ever. If that's their wedding cake, I would complain to the wedding cake designer. I'm sure we could make a better wedding cake than that. And in this treasure chest, this is Ariel. She's brought this from home. So there is her contract with Ursula. She's keeping that obviously for the memorabilia. She's got a blue gem in there and a starfish just for under the sea sake. And this is stored down in the hull of the boat, presumably because she doesn't want to see it very often. It goes down in here. No, it goes right flat bang in the center. Nice. That's nice. So that's hidden down in there. And oh, look at this. All right. This is what, <laughs> or these are what are going to go in the, in the shooters. So rather than actually being projectiles, well, they are projectiles rather than being guns, they're fireworks. <laughs> quite dangerous fireworks because they've got big pointy ouchy gems at the top of them but they look spectacular look at them off the back of the ship so when they get married those can fly up in the air and hopefully not hit anybody or any seagulls flying by got some flags just to do a finishing touch make sure they're both facing the same way that's the direction that the boat's going and this is great we've got one more of those detachable movable round areas here it's a couple of little steps and it's just going to be a platform because this is a royal vessel, right? So they don't want to get their feet wet when they're actually trying to get onto the boat. So it's a lovely fancy little walkway, a movable walkway, where look, you can access the boat from the side. So it's like a little jetty, but a really fancy little jetty. Oh, that's lovely. And and if we just move the happy couple out of the way, we can put these inside. So we can put their nice big ceremonial area there with the dancing floor. And we could put, if we move our, our cake and our cups out of the way, we can put, hold on, I'm sure we can put this in here. Oh, look, I'm just being silly. There we go. Yes, they definitely go. You can put them in either, either way, or you can take them out all together. So there are lots of options as to how you can set this up. Or you can basically steal the piece from one of the other castles and chuck it in the boat and send them out for a ride. It looks really, it's, it, I have said this a couple of times, this is a spectacular display piece, as well as a fun build to be able to play out some scenes from the movie or to make up your own new newlywed scenes. And Sebastian can actually be the music DJ for their wedding. Look, he's all set up, he's ready to go. So while they decide what song they want as their first dance together as a married couple, make sure you've subscribed to my channel and make sure you click that little notification bell and make sure you check Check out some of my other videos while you wait for a new one which will be coming very soon. See ya!